Casablanca, perched on the North Atlantic coast of Africa, was a strategic port in the Second World War. Allied leaders Churchill and Roosevelt famously met here in Morocco in 1943, the same year the celluloid classic was released. For many, Casablanca's mystery and intrigue comes more from Hollywood than history. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. The Set in the upheaval and desperation of world war, Casablanca is a film about one man's inner conflict. Starring Ingrid Bergman and Humphrey Bogart, who plays Rick Blaine, the owner of Rick's Cafe American, a bar and gambling den in the Vichy-influenced Casablanca. Bonsoir, Monsieur. Bonsoir. Bienvenue, Rick's Cafe Casablanca. Thank you very so, much. Bienvenue, Monsieur. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Sam, I thought I told you never to play. Now, more than 60 years after the war, Rick's Cafe has again come to life in the colourful heart of Casablanca. Well, I was here in Casablanca as a diplomat and decided that I would be better off if I left the government and put together a project um, that I thought might be a very symbolic one, that of building a Rick's Cafe, because I thought it could show the qualities of Americans risk takers, optimists, determined people, and entrepreneurial, and at the same time show a lot about Morocco. Say, who's got trouble? We got trouble. How much trouble? Too much trouble. Well now, don't you frown. Just knuckle down and knock on wood. Throwing in her high-flying diplomatic career, American Kathy Krieger spent months raising money to fund her dream. Then, two years ago, she opened Rick's Cafe in an old courtyard-style mansion built against the walls of Casablanca's Old Medina. People look at this and they say, you were born to do this. And it does put together all my passions along with my deep feeling for Morocco. And just like Rick, I found myself in Casablanca and found that uh, through one way or another, it sort of provided the focal point to uh, everything that I'd uh, always loved to do. Well, smile up there, and once again, let's knock on Just like the movie, Rick's Cafe is inhabited by a motley collection of bemused locals, mysterious expats, and eccentrics like Serge. Boys, we miss a, kid of blues. a former trick show writer, the extroverted Frenchman has become a late night fixture at the bar. J'ai la réputation d'être un garçon qui arrive très tard et qui part très tôt dans la matinée. In the Academy Award winning movie Casablanca, the piano playing Sam is Rick's confidant. In Rick's cafe, the man tickling the ivories is a young Moroccan named I, Sam. Well, I think it's coincidence, but um, it's true that it's weird. Why not? Play it once, Sam, for all time's sake. Uh, when they know that the, the, my name is I, Sam, they say, play it again, I, Sam. But most of them don't know, so they say, play it again, Sam. Play it, Sam. Play as time goes by. And every night, I Sam plays as time goes by, again and again, as patrons let themselves slip into the characters in the movie. Here's looking at you, kid. A portrayal of a chaotic world ravaged by war, Casablanca tells the story of outcasts, 
of refugees trying to flee the conflict for the safety of America. But in Rick's cafe, there are outcasts from America opting for the anonymity of Morocco. So it's an it's a interesting irony that I find myself in Casablanca, in the real Casablanca, which is another place for outcasts in a way. Mark McNamara isn't just any American outcast. He's a child of Hollywood, the son of a fashion model mother and a movie publicist father. After my mother and father divorced, um, she was on the loose in Hollywood and uh, went here and there. But one of the places that she went was on uh, Humphrey Bogart's yacht, Santana. What she did on the yacht with Humphrey Bogart, uh, I can't tell you. It was about a year before he died. Now, now. He's looking at you, kid. Okay, Pour Le Bar, Rashid. Uh, parce que c'est le jam session, uh, just be sûr que Serge va venir. More than 60 years after Bogart and Bergman made Casablanca famous, Rick's Cafe has come to life. A place of luminous shadows, outcasts, and intrigue. Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Thank you very much.